Hey, what's up with it out there, guys? It's your boy Rick back with another one, another video like your boy DJ Khaled say, man, just another day, another way. Today, what I'm about to do is, yeah, you see the Timberwolves, man, repping the Timberwolves. Got that Lakers hat. True Lakers, man, you know what I mean? Even though they stole our team, home of Minnesota, though, you feel me? But um, check it out. Today, I'm going to do a quick little uh, likes and dislikes about my 2018 money Camaro, man. SS, no, the 2SS. This is a convertible. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go ahead and open this garage up. Let's see the ends of this thing. But look, I'm going to go ahead and open this garage up for y'all. Get a cold start. Woo! I would drive it, but y'all see what's going on, man. You know the vibe. Minnesota shit's cold in a bitch, man. I hate it. But um, I love it at the same time. What other keys at? I got to dry this joint. Got to unbury this uh Cadillac. But, um... See, and big embarrassing. Oh, there we go. So first, we're gonna run through this. If y'all don't know, now you know, man. This is uh your boy Rick Mobile. Got this legendary rap on this joint. One of the hardest raps in Minnesota right now, you understand me? On a Camaro though. Got some more work to do on it. Side markets here. This joint real dirty right now. Um got some things where I'm uh, getting ready to drop it off in a couple days, man. You know it's that season, so it's Christmas time. Likes and dislikes. All right. Well, first, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all this uh, cold start. Let y'all get a whiff of that, man. See what that do. But likes and dislikes about my Camaro. First, I'm going to tell you, since it's a drop top, the thing I don't like about it is I lost two speakers. It has an incredible sound system in it. But I, unfortunately, I got to lose two speakers because it's a convertible. They could have figured out something else or made the speakers actually a little bit bigger to... Um, you know, our comfort. Uh, since we're on the outside of the car, I'm going to tell you another thing that I don't like. It does have the sensors on it, but there is no front sensor. I don't like that. So since there's no front sensors, you know, I'm used to that. Used to riding luxury cars and shit. As you can see, we got Benz over here, new Cadillac, you know what I'm saying, XTS, all that good stuff. But, um, you know, I'm driving big old Range Rovers and BMWs and all that, big business, all that. So, you know, I'm used to driving luxury, but, um, that's one of the exterior things I don't like about it. Let's go ahead and start this. I love this. Jeez. That boy dirty, so you got to excuse the dirt. That's one thing I do love about it, you know what I mean? Do have the option to... Um, change the setting on the, the the loudness of your muffler. All right, let's go inside this joint. One thing I don't like is getting in and out. I could have did something a little bit different here on how it's set up, getting in and out of this uh, particular vehicle. But um, now we're inside this joint. All right. One of my other dislikes that I don't like about this, this car I don't really like I don't really dislike much at all. That was one of the, the biggest things and really only the two things that I, I don't like about this joint, man. My phone is going going up. But that's really the only two things that um since I've been owning this vehicle for the past two months that uh well past month, barely have had barely been a month. Okay. That I've been owning this vehicle for the past month that I don't like about it. Um that was pretty much it. Those two things there, the in and out. Um, the, the, well, this door, actually, here it is. Yeah, they, they could have designed this a little bit different. The door is, is long as fuck. I might end up getting Lamborghini doors put on it. I don't know, but cause just it's annoying. These doors are so long. But if they design it just a little bit different, getting in and out would be a lot more, you know, easier, you know, whatever. You know, I know I understand it is a sport vehicle, but hey, they could do something a little bit different with the design on it to make this door just a little bit shorter. Um, so that's pretty much it about dislikes. Um, uh, the car, as you can see, yeah, this is a 2SS, so it does have a lot of the luxury features in it. And I do like that because I'm a luxury kind of guy. So it does have a lot of luxury little components and stuff, some little techie stuff, um, you know, like the head-up displays, and you know, you see this when this console, the screen came on and stuff. So 
I mean, it does have partially digital dash. I, I like that. If it didn't, I would have had a problem, but there's a lot of different settings in here and it does, it's compatible with your iPhones or your Android or whatever. Hey, it's my joint. Hey, that R. Kelly, man. Hold your head, Kells, man. Hold your head, Kells, man. But you know, you know, you know. But um, yeah, it does have some of the uh, the feature that that you can hook your phone and it syncs up. You know, you got the CarPlay on there. So you know, what? I'm gonna actually hook it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Some people don't know what that is. So let me hook up my phone, plug it in my iPhone to this joint. Now you'll see the screen will change. Just one of the icons. Boom, right there. You hit that button there. Boom. Oh, that was my song playing. I thought it was the radio. So you got your phone stuff pops up. You know what I mean? You can change that. You can go to your text message, phone call, blase, blase, talk text directly through the microphone system in the car. So that's pretty dope. You know, you got your maps on there. It does have navigation in it built in, but, you know, nobody really uses navigation on cars anymore. So it was kind of a dope feature for them to do that. Um, I do like the ambient lights and stuff. Um, one thing that it does change, it does color flip. I mean, it's supposed, it should be doing it now. I was messing with it the other day, so I changed the color, so it's probably not doing it now. I can just go run and do that real quick. I do like the touchscreen feature. Always love touchscreen. Oh, see, there we go. It wasn't in like the show mode or whatever. See, now it's changed. It's gonna flip colors while I'm just sitting. And it, but it does, you know, that's that's one thing they could change. I don't know. It's probably a distraction to drivers or whatever that it doesn't do the color flip while you're actually driving. That would have been kind of dope. But it remains a solid color, but you do actually get to change or choose the color that you want it to flip to. So that's pretty dope. As I said, I love the seats. Love the stitching in there. I actually did, um, I changed out. Let's see if I can. There we go. I, I, you know, I got those uh, custom mats put in. I didn't really install them all the way. They're just kind of just thrown in there right now. They're, I got some clamps and stuff I got to put in, but haven't done yet yet. And I don't know why they sent them from for the back seat, but there really is no space back there, and I really haven't uh, got the time to just, I don't know, being lazy, I guess. Didn't put them in, so they're not in the back seat, the, the floor mats. They do have mats for the floor, but I'm going to throw them in just to have them because I have them. Um, so one thing I do like too, if you can see there, this light here and right there, see it's blue and red. I don't know, for some reason when I'm driving, it's just weird. Like, you know, I don't know if it's just, you know, from just me and my head or whatever, but it kind of feels like, I don't know, I look up and, you know, I look in the rear of a mirror, especially if I'm speeding or something. I do have 200 on the dash. This is a 2SS, you know, almost 500 horsepower in this joint. So it does have some speed and has some torque and some power in it. But um, it does give me like an, a reminder of like a, a squad car, or police car, or some shit, you know what I mean? With the red and blue uh, light there. So it kind of like, you know, hey, wake up, you know what I mean? Like pay attention, you know, don't, don't go all the way stupid, you know what I mean, when you ride. But um, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for dislikes likes i pretty much love this car man i'm in love with this car and i never had a car that i was like completely like 100 percent in love with and i've driven and had a lot of different cars i had cars that i really liked but i never had a car or a truck that i really loved and i really love this car you know i mean just the whole design of it the whole feel you know everything for this is pretty much just like a you know it's kind of a you know this is the next best thing, you know, to having like a luxury sport Mercedes Benz car, you know, a two door or something like that, you know, S63, you know, that's a whole nother level of a car. But at the same time, it does give you a nice luxury feel inside of this car. You know, I mean, there's some upgrades and different things that you can do to it as far as like adding, um, you know, like the carbon fiber. You know, I've seen it has like this little thing that wraps around it over here. You can put like a carbon fiber wrap around your um, actual um, your door handle. And inside, they have one here too. I was uh, I'm, I'm in debate about ordering that or not. They have one right here. Not sure. It doesn't really. It looks like it. I guess. I guess I could put it in there. Um, I might order that. I think I might order that. And then, then they have this thing too. Um, 
I can actually install. And the other dope feature too, like back here, I have this thing here because it came with the kit and then I guess it looks kind of cool, but it doesn't really fit. But this here is actually a cell phone charger. So you can just set your phone on this, the pad here, and it will, st it will start to charge your phone. But you don't want to put anything else there and someone might just do that. So I guess that's why I have this here kind of like protecting that if I put some other stuff there that you know so I won't make this uh, start matter functioning or f set fire or whatever it could possibly do so yeah there are some things that you can do to this car I actually put in these um, little pads here they're kind of cool for the seat belt I mean they just look cool feels nice so it does have a nice little interior. I don't know what it would look like if I had the uh, regular or like a, a sunroof in this car, but this is what it looks like with the convertible. The window, like people say the visibility on these cars are not that great. Um, I beg to differ. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've, I don't have a, I haven't had a pro any problems with the visibility in this car. I mean, as far as, uh, you know, not being able to see and blind sight, you know, but it does have the blind spot assist on there. So there is like a little light in the mirror <clears throat> that, you know, blinks has like a star in a car. So if you have like a car that's on the side of you or whatever, it, uh, you know, it kind of blinks and flashes for you. Um, it, I don't think it does have a, it may have a feature I can set it where it vibrates the seat too. Cause this is kind of real similar to, it's, I guess GM, like it's real similar to my Cadillac as far as how, you know, your settings and stuff go in here. Like how this thing is set up is real similar to the Cadillac stuff. So, I mean, if you're familiar with, I want to say GM product, then this is like pretty much the same thing. But, um, yeah. So yeah, this car, man, I mean, I pretty much love this car, man. And you know, it drives nice and this is an automatic and it, you know, picks up speed really quick. Uh, it heats up really well. I mean, this, the heated steering wheel works really quick. Um, the heated seats, is, there's heated and cool seats in it. So, I mean, you know, I gotta have that. You know, that's another thing I was looking at some other kind of cars, but they didn't really have too many luxury components or features for their prices. And this kind of was like, you know, and you know it has a lot of different things that you can do with that you know luxury in this car that it does you know for the price you know they're relatively exp inexpensive for what you're getting i mean you know this kind of car you know with the kind of horsepower and i guess they're making a comeback is what some people have been saying about camaros so you know i guess as this is i'm part of that sixth generation of a uh, camaro that uh, is making that comeback and this is one of them you know what i mean um the seats are real cold they're real comfortable they're nice you know what i mean uh you know they're soft heated and cool i think i said that already mine is pretty special because i got this red interior and i had to have that ss stamp in the middle of the seats you know what i mean if i was gonna get any kind of a camaro i had to have some special um components or features or whatever in it and the red leather is one of them and like i said uh this is the 2ss so yeah i'm looking around trying to see if there's anything else uh i can kind of point out to you you know it has these uh the settings here where you can automatically set where getting in and out of the car it kind of like you can set it um so when you cut the car off that the seats are automatically go into a position where it's more comfortable for you to get out or easier for you to get out and easier to get back in and then once you start the car it will automatically go into the first setting you have two settings here you can go back into the first setting your um, memory setting to the seats position wherever you want it to be at while you're driving and they go there automatically for you so you know that's that's dope you know some kind of standard luxury uh, features that you know one thing I was kind of shocked about that the actual adjusting on the steering wheel is like old school it's manual there's no button it's not like you know um uh it's not mechanical so you got to kind of just hit the switch and then you move it and adjust it yourself that was kind of different but it really don't make no difference to me i don't really care about that kind of stuff and it's kind of annoying to have like uh you know the mechanical ones they're kind of slower and they move so so it was kind of cool to have it you know that way so I guess that's that's fine by me i don't really give a damn but i don't know if you can see it but here yeah, the head up display it shows a lot of different things you can actually change the cluster in the middle to uh display different things 
I actually just have it displaying just the tire pressure because I don't know I'm, I'm real freaky about that because I've blown a lot of tires throughout my uh, driving uh, experience in life so I always want to uh, be cautious and mindful of the actual uh, tire pressure but um, as you can see I'm going to change the uh, my mom's texting me I'm going to change the uh, actual drive mode they do have a touring a sport a track and snow and ice so snow and ice is the mode I should be on but I'm not actually going to drive today I just ordered some uh, snow tires so those are on the way you know so as soon as I get those snow tires then um, I'm going to try to do some driving in the snow but because uh, I got a few more things I need to do to this car I got to drop it off at two more locations two more spots then I'm um, going to try to uh, figure out you know getting on the road or whatever and taking this car out for you know a couple weeks and you know do a little bit of traveling or whatever or even just leave it out somewhere drive out for a few weeks and move around and maneuver, go to a couple different states and uh catch up with uh my cousin uh gq life is gq if you haven't uh heard or seen it he has a hellcat that it's like this young Dolph rap but it's a lot better than young Dolph joint you know what i'm saying um uh, so yeah Try to catch up with him uh, and uh, get some get some contact with him, you know. But um, until then, um, this is it. Well, life is GQ. You can check him out. Ch uh, look look that up. Life is GQ. That's his uh, YouTube channel. He bought the car out there with a um, uh, uh, tall guy car reviews uh, out in LA. But anyways, um, I guess that pretty much will sum up this. Uh, this video unless there's something else i see on there i don't know um i don't know uh you got your uh, that's 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 pretty much it i mean everything else is pretty much standard that's kind of dope how this pops up like that um you know you got your phone your message button you know you can go back here go back into your phone you know, see your last callers, blah, 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 text messages, your OnStar stuff. Um, you know, so, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, yeah, until then, make sure you go uh, check out the book, man. Look at the description, the video um, description, and, and check out some of those links. I do have some links in there where you can actually make some money. Or you can actually get uh, some referral cash from clicking on some of the links that I have in my description uh, of the videos of all my videos there's a description in the video where there's different links where you can actually either make money or purchase different products or uh, you know like uh, there's cards that you can get bank cards and stuff you get $50 for just signing up with uh, with chime card using my link um, I mean, there's a lot of different things. Like Herbalife products, I have my book on there, and there's some other links for like driving, uh, Lyft, and uh, Uber links and stuff like that. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can do. So um, make sure you check that out. And my book too, Thoughts from Your Neighborhood Inward. If you ain't got to train nobody, uh, make sure you check that out. The link is in the description. So yeah, you check check that out. And uh, until then, uh, subscribe. Hit the smash on that like button and uh, stay tuned.